When you connect your Smartisan phone to any external display, you can instantly launch Smartisan TNT, our unique approach towards desktop-level productivity and user experience. Smartisan TNT is primarily optimized for multi-touch displays, providing much more efficient two-handed controls. You can perform daily tasks much more intuitively, more efficient, even more magical. Intuitive gesture controls run through the whole system. Switching wallpapers has never been this fun. Smartisan TNT systematically combines touch and voice controls for a touch and talk solution, or TNT. TNT brings users an incredible level of speed and efficiency. File Manager, Weather, Browser, Clock, Gallery, Recorder, Music, Calculator, Note, Close Others, Mute. Whenever you need to input text, you can instantly access our voice input floating button. Goodbye, San Francisco. This is a news report from Engadget. With more than 97% of accuracy and our text editing solution, you can easily split sentence into words or even letters and directly select, edit, replace easily without mouse or keyboard. Smart as TNT comes with Bullet Messenger, our instant messaging solution for higher communication efficiency. When you need to send a text, just tap and hold the button to speak. You can instantly access all your recent and favorite contacts. One quick tap is all it needs. Always have a ton of unread messages? No problem. Bullet Messenger can fire back instant replies. In a group, tapping the group icon to unfold all group members so that you can send a message to everyone or just a few members of the group. If necessary, you can also easily select and pull a few people into a new group for a separate conversation. 20 years after browsers and search engines conquered the world, what can Smart as TNT do to make information consumption even more efficient? Pancake. With the Poker Dealer solution, Smart as TNT can display results of different search engines, websites, or apps for efficiency like you've never imagined possible. To fully utilize the screen real estate, you can open multiple windows of browser, File Manager, Email, or any other app as you wish to quickly compare results or access more information at once. You can instantly snap windows like this, or adjust window sizes like this. Unlike most of our competitors, we fully understand that your finger is not a mouse pointer. Instead, we implemented drag and drop throughout the system to break boundaries between apps, achieving much higher efficiency than your average mouse and keyboard. You can drag and drop texts, images, or even files, so that you can quickly draft an email like this, or sending files to your contact like this. Even drag photos of anything you're interested to an e-commerce app to quickly find out where to buy them. No matter its office productivity, gaming and entertainment, instant communication or creativity works. Smartisan TNT is your revolutionary next generation PC. Smartisan TNT, redefining PC for PCs. Hey everyone. I'm Ray Ray. There is a phone company called Martisan is from China and in 2018 they launched a hardware called TNT station. That station is just a touch monitor to let you connect with Smartisan phones and it's Android device and when you connect the phone with the station, the station will launch a whole big screen system called TNT OS. So I buy one development version of this machine TNT station it's called DVT1 edition so today I will show you what's the station like in the hardware and what can a TNT OS do in the software so this software have a lot of function to help you using the touch function the voice control function and the big screen function so it's almost like Samsung deck and Huawei emotion you at desktop mode but it have a lot of improvement so this series we will show you what can they do in the TNT OS. Let's do this. So let's see the hardware of this TNT station. In the back there is a huge logo and the rotator for the screen. In the back there is a power port. In the left there is a left speaker, 
a DP port, two USB-A port, and a USB-C port for you to connect your smartphone phones. And there is a switch button to switch from the DP and the HDMI. So if you push the button, you can switch the input. On the left and the bottom side of the screen, there is a Idea Peels button. Idea Peels is a soft tools in the smartphone OS. And in the front, there is a power button in the middle. And left, there is a 3.5 uh, headphone jack, a uh, other USB-C port. So if you want to plug in your smartphone phones, you can plug in on the left side and on the right side. So on the left, there is the 3.5 headphone jack, another USB-C port. So if you want to plug in your smartphone, you can plug on the left or on the right. There's another two USB-A ports, one HDMI ports, and the right side of the speaker. There is another Idea Peels button on the right side of the screen. So that's the TNT station I.O. ports. And there are two modes of this screen. If you want to use your keyboards and mouse, you can use the screen just like this. But if you want to using the touch function, you want to use the big screen to touch, you can push this using the rotator and the large angle, you can use the touch function more comfortable. There are 10 many functions on the desktop of the TNT OS and they put 10 touch buttons on the left and right side of the screen. You can see there's a light blinking on the side. Because this is a development machine, so this touch button is not good. So we can use the functions in the screen. They have the same function, the right order, and it's not too hard to demonstrate them. They have the same functions. Let's talk about the left side of this five button. And the first three is all about searching. The first one is general searching, the second one is internet searching, and the third one is local searching. The general searching is search both internet and local. Let's make an example about this internet searching. Just press and hold to say your keywords. Donald Trump. And you can set your settings to search in which platform. In this one, we have uh, Google search, uh, Wikipedia, Yelp, Quora, Twitter, uh, YouTube, and Amazon. This is called Poker Dealer User Experiments to help you not to enhance your single page, but to like the dealer to poke some multiple mobile interface to help you improve productivity on the searching. So that is the poker dealer. The first one example to use the poker dealer user interface. The fourth is called idea appeals. Like the introduction before, idea appeals is a smart phone's productivity tools to help you note your life, help you search in the internet. So idea appeals is a tool both in the searching and in the noting. So press and hold to make a new idea appeal. Donald Trump. So this is one appeal. You can make a different sorting. You can delete it. You can add a text, add a attachment, add to the calendar, retweet to another application, and to put in them in your idea appeals collection. So that is making a new idea appeals. The fifth button is called Bullet Message. Bullet Messenger is another software making from Smartisan. They want to push the productivity on the chatting software, but the product is now changing called the Liao Tianbao. So the software is changing and the logo is changed from the Bullet software to Liao Tianbao. So this is push and hold to say a message and you can send them to your Latin bar contact. This is a test message for you to send to call them. And you can see your recent contacts, your stories, contacts, and all the contacts. So if you want to send this message to them, you just press the button on the contacts. So 
Dex is the first five main function on the left side of the TNT desktop. So now let's introduce the next five button on the right side of the desktop of TNT OS. The first one is Sideway Photo Library. The second one is Sideway File Manager. The third one is Paste History Sideway Tool. And the fourth one is ID Appeals Collection. The last one is Screenshots. So the first one, if you want to open your photo library and using this area to help you find your right photo and share to another applications. Just like the photo library, the file man manager is also the same. You can share the right file to, to the another applications. And the third is the paste history. The paste history is a clipboard and the snip snippets is also on the clipboard. You can use them to share to the other applications. The fourth is ID appeals. ID appeals collection is right here. On the left side, you can push the button and make the new uh, ID appeals. But if you want to edit, you want to make the collection more productivity, you will do this on the smart peel collection right here. And the last one is screenshots. The screenshots have the many functions. If you want to make some application screenshots, you can push the button and to choose which application you want to shoot. If you want to shoot a note, just to push them and to add it. But if you want to screenshot the whole devices, you can push the button and using the capture full screen and then you can show you the whole screen. And if you connect the TNT smartphone to a normal portable display, you cannot have the next function. It's the uh, screenshot with display. If you only connect with TNT station, you can screenshot the uh, application with display. So now you can see not only the screenshot and the device image is also in the picture. So in this, you can use screenshots to do more high level edit function to help you using the screenshot tools. So that is the right side of this five main function. The sideway photo library, the sideway file manager, third is the paste history clipboard, the fourth is idea appeals collection, the fifth is screenshots tools. So now you know the 10 main function button on the TNT station. Now let's see the doc. The dock have five function buttons in it. They are Big Bang, Mobile Window Management, Show the Desktop, Multi-Program Management, or the Applications. The Big Bang is a text tool helps you extract text from many scenarios like this. Just push this. If you can extract the text directly, you will have the white box just push them, you can edit them in many tools like search, dictionary, share, paste, and other high-level text tools. Now, if you don't have the text directly, you can swipe, find the error to OCR them to extract. So you have an error, you can identify, scan, image search. So that's the Big Bang tool. The next is mobile window management. Let's desktop like this now. You have three mobile windows and one big windows. So if you have too many mobile windows and they are mainly making a mess on desktop, you can make this button and to push them together. You can have them in the grid. So the third is show the desktop. That's easy. The show desktop, push them to to see them again. And the fourth is the multi-application management. If you want to close one particular program or to flush them all out, you can do this in this button. And the fifth is the all application to help you find all your application in your mobile. So that's the five function on the dock. The Big Bang, the mobile windows management, the show the desktop, the multi-program management, and all the applications. 
So I show you the TNT station introduction video at the first. Some functions is open now, I can demonstrate, but some is not. So I will tell you which is not open and the open ones, how to use them. So let's do it right now. Now let's talk about file manager. The file manager, they have the long press and hold to float the file, long press and float. Float, now in the video, they can multi-selection, multi-select to touch, to multi-select, but the system doesn't have that function right now. But if you want to move this file to another folder, you can float and to switch and release, you can now move this file. long press and hold to float. And we say the file manager doesn't support multi-selection, but they did do this on the desktop. On the desktop, when, we, when they float, you can multi-selection, use another finger. And if you pinch, that folder will emerge and touch another file to emerge together. But in the video, they can also to select an error to move together, but they don't do this function right now. So when you long press and fold and emerge, then take your file want to put together and release. That will be folder in together. Talk about gesture on the desktop. On the desktop, you can use your five finger to change your wallpaper. And now you change the wallpaper, you can select on the bottom. You can select, you can also swipe to make your changes five finger to swipe and if you have a lot of window on the desktop you can shake to show the desktop and shake back to see all the windows and shake back so that's its gesture on the desktop TNT OS, TNT is means touch and talk. So let's see some talk function, the voice control. You can do some general control for the application. And uh, because this is a Chinese team want to do a global system, they start as the Chinese voice control. So I will use Mandarin to do the voice control part. The first is about launching the application. Just to say the application name, you can do the launching. Long press and hold. Jingdong. Taobao. Cainia Guo Guo. See, that's launching the application. Then you want to close the others to leave one out. You just say the kill others. Guan Bi Qita. So you can kill other applications. When you want to close all the applications, you can do kill all. Now, if your window can change the size, like this one, you can do the minimize and the maximize. So that's the minimize and the maximize. And if you want to take a screenshot at the whole screen, all the application, you can just say to screenshot. So this is in the screenshot mode, you can take the whole picture or just an application. That's the screenshot. And if your application is making voice like the music, if your application is making voice, you can use the dog to mute. If you're in the mute mode, you can cancel the mute. You can also control it on the dog. So that's the general control for the application, using the voice to do all the general control. Besides the TNT voice control, the voice is also using to input text. There are three ways to input text. One, two, and three. Now, if you see the, the button like this, you can press and hold to input your words. Let's see what management you got. And in that, you can also use the keyboard with control button right here. You know, sometimes I do have dream. So that's the, this two. 
and in the browser, the browser have the search, search have a direct search voice control button. If you press and hold to say your keywords, they can directly search for you. I have a dream. So you can directly to search your all keywords. That's the voice control to help you input all your text. So let's talk about the Big Bang. The Big Bang is the text tool to help you processing a lot of text. In the Smart the Note, you have a Big Bang button right here to touch, to enter the editing mode. Editing mode, they have a mouse to help you choose where you want to change the text. If you choosing a position, you can take the uh, add a space, add some note, add some change, or you just using the voice button to input some text. I have a dream to millions of Negro slaves, and this is the new text. I just say something to input. You can swipe to choose what text you want to process. And long press and hold, you can change the position and to leave them in a new place or just to delete them. Now, if you swipe to choose something, you can paste them, cut them and to leave some new text. Or you, if you choose one word, they can have some suggestion on the words or you can leave the elements to make a new thing you want to do and to confirm. That's the Big Bang mode. The Big Bang Entity mode to help you just use voice and your finger to take a lot of text processing. That's the Big Bang Entity mode. Messenger is also a smartisan chatting software, but this product is changing. In the video, we can see all about high efficiency chatting interface. And now they in the TNT OS, they can only send a message using the dock button and to send, send to a contact. But in the bullet messenger, we can see in the TNT interface system, how we using the touch and the voice to do high efficiency chatting, how to do the chatting, how to use the group, how to contact with our contrast. So that's the bullet messenger to dream the future, how to connect with people with TNT OS. Now let's talk about Poker Dealer. The Poker Dealer is a help you to improve your efficiency using the mobile interface, like this one. This is two scenario. In the first, the application, in the different application, all using the mobile interface help you to do your task, all using the mobile interface and to multiply this. And the other, other is called window dividing. All this is in the same application, but they can dividing several windows help you to improve your efficiency. And in the searching tool, searching tool, you can use the mobile interface to search. Donald Trump. And you are setting all the searching platform and all using the mobile interface to help you do your task to improve your searching efficiency. So that's the poker dealer is three ways to help you poker the high inflation dealer. Now let's talk about window layout. The window layout, you can drag a window and maximize that. Drag to the front, release. Drag to the bottom, release. And if you want to take a half of the screen, just drag to the left and right. And if you want to do a quarter of the screen, just drag to the four corners. Drag to the four corners, you can do a quarter of the screen. So if you want to do two windows to do together to fill the whole screen, just drag two windows and emerge and release. Then you can do a left and right full screen, or you can drag up and down to emerge, do the up and down full screen. Also, no matter left and right or up and down, you can move this pedal to do a different layout. Now, let's talk about text appeal. In the TNT OS, the appeal is a 
interact element if you selecting some text you can see a blue pill is right here you can drag this to a browser search bar they can directly search for you or you can select and to move them to the application you want you can open the application first or you can drag the blue pill and to open the application you want at the same time then you can move to the position you want to do so let's talk about picture peel if you want to select one picture just press and hold to see a picture peel is floating and then you can launch your application you want but if your application is already there you can just like this note you can take a new note or just drag and position that see that's the picture is right here the right here like in the note you can drag this button to fix the position and then you will have your picture and text In the sideways, like the photo library sideway and the clipboard sideway and the idea peel sideway is all about text peel and picture peel. But the file manager sideway, you also can use the file peel. Just press and hold, then drag to the application you want to share. And then they can trigger the action, the share action application like WeChat. The WeChat will help you to select all the contact you know or also if you want to open one particular window and then press and drag you can directly send this file to this contract as said tnt os is about the peel we say the text peel the picture peel and then the big bang the idea peel is the two main tool in the smart design os and the third main tool is one step one step can process the text tool or the picture tool you are selecting some text and then drag the text peel to the one step icon you can save to the idea peels you can send this message to the other application you can do the search you can do anything the one step can show you the channel and then the picture tool is also the same. Press and hold to float the picture peel. And then drag to the one step icon. You can do the channel, one step channel. And this is the picture search. And then you can search this picture in the internet. At last, let's talk about the gaming, the video editing and the office. The office Smartisan collaborate with another company to make a Smartisan office. Like the office Excel, PowerPoint, and Word, they make three separate applications to help you using the office in their Smartisan TNT interface, like the touch and the voice and the voice control and the, all the interface to help you using the TNT logic to help you finish the office task. The video editing, they never release any application on there, so I don't know how to video editing in the TNT. And the gaming, the, in the gaming mode, you can play a game like uh, Windows in the desktop, and you can do other things, other applications. And you can also use the full screen function to full screen this game in to use the whole system. And that is the gaming office and the video editing on the TNT OS. In the first introduction video, the Smartisan team want to release their own video editing software. But in the Android platform, when you are using TNT OS, you can use the other company software like this, Kind Master. The Kind Master can edit, edit videos in the TNT OS and this application is supporting the full screen mode then you can edit your own on this kind master application so that's TNT station and TNT OS 
the smartisan company want to use the big screen, the touch function, and the voice technology to emerge a new experience for you to using your palm, your hand. Even it's not accuracy like the mouse, but the tool, the experiments, the user interface can be improved, help you just using your hand and voice. Like they said, touch and talk, TNT, touch and talk to help you finish all the desktop level mission. So when you want to do this, you can pull out your phones and connect with a device like TNT station. When you finish your desktop level mission, you can pull out and just using a mobile phone in everyday life. That's the smart user phone final goals. So this is TNT and thank you for watching our series videos.